Hello guys, welcome to Master the Basics and for today's video, aralin natin ang quarter 2, week 1 ng Mathematics 6. Ang lesson natin, expressing one value as a fraction of another given their ratio and vice versa. After going through this lesson, you are expected to express one value as a fraction of another, given their ratio and vice versa. Ano nga ba ang ratio? Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same units. The quantities may be separate entities or they may be different parts of a whole. You can write the ratio of A and B or the two quantities in three ways. Word form, A is to B. Makikita lang natin ang salitang is to. Colon form, A is to B. Makikita lang natin ang symbol na colon sa pagitan ng A at B. Fraction form, A is to B. Makikita lang natin ang fraction bars sa pagitan ng A at B. Iba-iba man ang pagkakasulat, ngunit pare-pareho sila ng paraan ng pagbasa. A is to B. Example 1. Compare the number of circles to triangles and vice versa. Circles, 12. Triangles, 6. Sulat natin ang ating sagot. Word form, colon form, and fraction form. Ang bilang ng bilog ay labing dalawa. Ang bilang ng tatsulok ay anim. Kaya isusulat natin ito ng 12 is to 6. I-compare naman natin ang number of triangles to circles. Number of triangles, 6. Number of circles, 12. Word form, 12 is to 6. Ganon din sa colon form at sa fraction form. 12 is to 6. Ang bilang ng lahat ng shapes ay labing walo. Anim na tatsulok at labing dalawa na bilog. If you compare the part to the total number of the shapes, the ratio of the part to the total has the same meaning as a fraction. Look at the example below. Example 2. Compare the total number of shapes to the number of triangles. Ratio of total shapes to triangles. Word form colon form, and fraction form. 18 is to 6. 18 ang total number of shapes at 6 naman ang bilang ng triangle. Ratio of total shapes to circles. Word form, colon form, at fraction form. 18 is to 12. 18 ang total number of shapes at 12 naman ang number of circles. Even if the ratio is in fraction form, you will still say 18 is to 6 or 6 is to 18. Ratio should be in simplest form or lowest form like a fraction. You can express the above example as 18 is to 6. Kunin muna natin ang factors ng 18. 6 times 3. Kunin din natin ang factors ng 6. 6 times 1. Para makuha natin ang lowest form ng ating ratio. Cancelin natin ng 6. Palitan natin ng 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. 1 times 1 equals 1. 3 is to 1 
ang ating ratio. Puntahan naman natin, 6 is to 18. Pwede rin natin kunin ang kanilang greatest common factor. Halimbawa, ang GCF ng 6 at 18 ay 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Kaya isusulat natin na 1 is to 3. Example 3. Express the ratio of 3 25 centavo coins to 3 peso coins in colon form. 3 25 cents to 3 peso coins. Since the two quantities have different units, you need to make sure that they must be in the same units to express the right ratio. Isusulat lang natin ang 25 cents. Sa bawat piso ay meron tayong apat na 25 cents. Thus, in this example, you can express the ratio of two quantities as 3 is to 12. Since there are four 25 centavo coin in each one peso coin. In simplest form, the ratio of 3 25 centavo coin to 3 peso coin or 3 pesos is 1 is to 4. Example, 3 not 25 cents. 12 na 25 cents. Kukunin lang natin ang kanilang greatest common factor which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Kaya 1 is to 4. Or pwede rin naman natin guhita na lang. 1 is to 4. Example number 4. Express the equivalent ratio of 2 is to 4. 2 is to 4 times 2, pwedeng 4 is to 8. 2 is to 4 times 3 is equal to 6 is to 12. 2 is to 4 times 4 equals 8 is to 16. 2 is to 4 times 5 is 10 is to 20. The possible equivalent ratio of 2 is to 4 or 2 is to 4 are 4 is to 8, 6 is to 12, 18 is to 16, and 10 is to 20. There are instances that the term of ratio do not have the same units or classification. This is a special ratio called rate. For example, kilometers to an hour. Example number five. Rom scored 180 points in five basketball games. Find the average rate per game. Sulat natin. Rate equals 180 points over five games. 180 is to five. Kunin natin ang kanilang greatest common factor. 5. 180 divided by 5 equals 36. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. So, 36 points per game ang ating magiging sagot. So, that is what we call rate. Learning task. Number one, write a ratio of the following in three ways. Write your answer in your notebook. We have pentagons is two, number of triangles. Sulat natin ang ating sagot sa fraction form, column form, 
at word form. Example, 10 is to 8. Siyempre, kailangan natin itong ilista or isulat sa simplest form. 10 at 8, ang kanilang greatest common factor ay 2. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So ang sagot natin ay 5 is to 4. Learning task number two, write a ratio of the following in three ways. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, six weeks to 12 days. Alam naman natin na merong seven days sa bawat isang linggo. So multiply natin ng seven times six. Seven times six is 42. So there are 42 days in 6 weeks. Isusulat natin ang 12 days na ganun pa din. Ngayon, pwede na nating isulat ang kanilang ratio. 42 is to 12. Again, we need to write this ratio in simplest form. 42 is to 12. Ang kanilang greatest common factor ay 6. So, 42 divided by 6 equals 7. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. At yan ang ating fraction form. 7 is to 2. Ganun din sa colon form at sa fraction form. 7 is to 2. Learning task number 3. Write at least three equivalent ratio of the given ratio. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, two is to four. Ang equivalent ratio ng two is to four ay four is to eight, six is to 12, 18 is to 16. Number two, five is to 10. Ang equivalent ratio ng 5 is to 10, 10 is to 20, 15 is to 30, at 20 is to 40. Learning task number 4. Write the following fraction in word and colon form. Do this in your notebook. Number 1, 3 is to 4. Ganito ang magiging sagot natin. 3 is 2, 4. My word na is 2. Sa colon form, wag lang natin kalimutan isulat ang colon symbol. 3 is to 4. 5 is to 8. Okay. So hanggang dito na lang muna tayo. Kailangan lang nating tandaan that the ratio is a comparison of two quantities which can be written in colon, word, or fraction form. Rate is a comparison of two quantities but may have different units of measures and their ratio has a unit of measure. Thank you for watching.